Good morning everyone or afternoon or evening whenever you're watching. Um, I'm planning now on a Saturday morning for next week but I have some like housekeeping things I want to take care of first. The first thing is this cover. I fell in love with this cross stitch heart pattern for February when it re was released from Erin Condren a few years ago. So with February approaching, I'm gonna go ahead and first switch out my cover. Um, the interchangeable covers are one of the things that I love most about Erin Condren. And even when I use a different seven by nine brand, if it has the same coil configuration, a lot of times I'll go ahead and use the Erin Condren covers on those planners as well. All right. Perfect. Love it. Okay, let's go ahead and get turned to the current week. I was using this February kit already in January called Sorry I Have Plants. And we can go ahead and turn to the February monthly section here. Well, after the monthly tab, the first week in February. This is the week we're going to be planning out today um, of January 29th. And I'm using this kit, MK608. And just in case I need more <laughs> than I have here, these are like my Erin Condren specific stickers. Um, I do have my on the go album. I was using one of the larger ones and it just became a little bit too bulky to carry around with me in my tote bag. But this one is the album I use for my Traveler's Notebook and my Hobonichi uh, planners and journals. So just in case I wanna pull from any of these sheets, I do have that out and handy. I do just wanna check and see what this kit is called because I am drawing a blank. This is my planner Valentine, but you can just search MK608 and it would come up in the store. And then another thing is I have been using my Sarasa Markon for quite some time. I still love this ink pen. However, I was sent the Pilot G2 Mean Girls collab pen set. Beautiful shades of pink if you like pink and the burn book came with my package. I have a reel up, but I did just some pen testing and I forgot because it's been a while how much I love the G2s on my Erin Condren paper. If you were with me from the beginning in 2014, I used a blue Pilot G2 for years and years and didn't even really vary from that. Um, but for today, I thought for February we could either use the black pen because that's the color ink I've been using in this planner or maybe even bring in some of the pink color from the ink and I just wanted to kind of look and see which pink was closest to the pink in this kit and it looks like that metallic pink would be a good match. All right we'll start with the black ink for sure and I had tried the brush stroke headers last week. You can see here, I really love how that looked, but I also really love these off of sheet G. So let's see what we have to work with here for the kit. I do have the brush stroke headers again that we could use or these strip headers. I do not have sheet G. Looks like I didn't order that, so we can use the brush stroke headers for sure. They're a good option. I like that font. 
as you are probably aware of. It's my favorite one for 2024, by the way. I really like the washi on the sampler because it has like a notebook and pen on there with some hearts and then some of these thinner washies. So let's go ahead and start with that. I think I'll do this black and white polka dot just to break up the blue. I really love this crosshatch pattern, but the brush stroke headers for this kit are blue and that might be a little bit too much blue on blue right at the top. And then we can get these down underneath. Let's see if I have my tweezers. And then I've already lost track of what the dates will be. Let's just work backwards so I don't have to flip so many pages. So Sunday will be February 4th. We'll just go backwards from there. I just got up out of bed pretty early Saturday morning. My son had a fever yesterday. We left school a little bit early and he tossed and turned all night long and I really did not get the best sleep and I feel like my fingers are not working. I don't know if you guys get like that where when you first wake up you feel kind of weak or like your fingers won't work or your handwriting's not warmed up, that sort of thing but we'll go with it. So I'm pretty clumsy right now with these tweezers, but that's okay. Okay, so last night as I was laying in bed, I was thinking a lot about planners. Um, I'm in this mood. I've settled into my 2024 system. I've resisted the urge to change out my daily book early. So I'm like giving myself a pat on the back for that. Still loving this. And I was just thinking part of the thing that I love about my planners is when they're really um, moved into and used and filled up. So like this planner here, I already have so many months in here. Um, I was looking at the Amplify planner. I didn't want the one that had the daily pages and the vertical 2024, just the weekly, um, was sold out in the cover that I wanted. So I didn't end up getting that. Maybe that was like a sign, but then I was sitting there thinking like as much as I want to try another planner, I know I'll just go back to this one. And part of that is because it's just so full and filled up and I love it. So another planner swap averted last night. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the sidebar down because I did notice when I was doing that color matching that I did grab the sidebar stackable. Maybe I should have put the sticker down first before the this week sticker, but these are removable and repositionable, so no big deal. And then I guess we can do the tracker. I'm gonna track a few more items other than just these two printed ones, so I'll use the full box sticker for that. So this ink pen is the 0.7 from Pilot. I usually use a 0.5, but this one's been feeling really good, really inky. So we're going to go with it. So we'll do kitchen tidy every day, make the beds every day, medications, and then homework for my son. And we're gonna put that down at the bottom of the sidebar over the pre-printed tracker. Let's go ahead and put down the washi off of the sampler that I was talking about because I don't want to forget about that either. 
and we're going to put it down here at the bottom. I did this last week and like how the fan at the top and this little bit thicker at the bottom kind of balanced out the page. And now we are ready to talk about plans. So I will reference my traveler's notebook. This is the planner that's with me all the time. And as soon as something, um, an appointment is made or whatever, it goes on my month view in this planner. Let's go ahead and start with work meetings. And I need to kind of get a handle on what sheets I have here, I guess. I did get a bunch of add-ons. So I like using these two add-ons. And I have the bullets. And I always forget what's on the sampler. Some of those same stickers um, that are my favorite are on this sheet as well. So I shouldn't run out of stickers, <laughs> that's for sure. And I'm going to start with... These um, torn edge stickers here and talk about content first so I can get those up and scheduled for the day. So Monday's video is going to be kind of a traveler's notebook update that I did after we had four snow days and how I migrated some of those canceled plans forward and just updated my pages. Put that at the 7 a.m. slot. And then this video here will be the weekly plan with me on Thursday, which is week five. And then we'll move into my son's practice schedule. And for that this week, I thought I could use these oval stickers. So he has a couple of practice options and we'll just go through each of these colors. He actually has three. So we'll just use one of each color. And I think we're just going to leave a little room underneath, even though these are at a little bit different times. We're going to line them all up at that 5 p.m. line going across the page. And let's go ahead and move into work meetings. So I do have just a few this week and again, I'll use just maybe one of each color and I'm gonna use these larger dash labels. So Monday starts off with a 9 a.m. meeting. Tuesday, um, I have another 9 a.m. Wednesday, I have two meetings. One will be a little bit quicker, so I'm going to use a thinner one for that one. And then a thicker one for the next meeting, which would take a little bit longer. And we'll start there. Okay, so Monday was the update meeting. And then Tuesday was the EDC. And then Wednesday are the two back-to-backs. And then Friday is problem-solving day for one of the buildings. And I wanna get back to using some full boxes, plus I really like the patterns on these. So let's go ahead and use this one. And we will use these 
new paintbrush journal stickers to make the label for that. And that would be all day problem solving. And then the other thing that I need to do for work this week are my mileage um, reimbursements. So I'll put that down here. And that will be due on the first. The other thing that I have scheduled for myself is a massage appointment for work Thursday. I have chronic migraine. Some of that is related to my autoimmune eye disease that I have, like ocular migraines. And my neck has just been killing me lately. So I did want to go see my massage therapist and see if there's something else going on that's kind of triggering more migraines than usual. And that is at 10.30. All right, let's go ahead and move in to church. I think I'll go ahead and use another full box for Sunday and maybe this pink one. So we have a small group at 8.30, and then a sermon at 9.30. It is not my week to teach in the back for the children's classes, and um, we don't have any board meetings or anything like that scheduled, so a little bit lighter Sunday there. And I will also have a small group option on Wednesday. Don't always go to those, but I like to write it down. And I think that that's it as far as the plans go. Now we can go back to the sidebar. I just want to update sort of my to-do list for the week and transfer some things over. So one of those things is the mileage that I need to turn in. I'm going to go ahead and put that task on my sidebar. And I've been using bullet journal signifiers in my traveler's notebook and have really enjoyed that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that over here as well. A dot just indicates a task. We'll pick the random January winner from the Planner Kate Challenge. Um, I do wanna do an end of month reel. I really liked doing those, just flipping back through this planner. For the month. I still need to do my concert picture sorting from December that are on my camera card. I need to look into the flower fundraiser for spring for sorority. And then let's look back at this week and see if I missed anything. Can go ahead and mark some of these out. So taxes got done, agenda got done, planner Kate challenge is posted, this got done, this got done, this got done. So not bad. Um, and this will happen on this Sunday, tomorrow, for sure, um, because that's when church is. So I think that means I am pretty set. No days off of school or anything this week unless we get more snow here, which if you know Illinois, that's quite the possibility any time of year really, except for summer. So um, 
that's going to wrap up this plan with me. Thank you guys for joining me. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask and I'll see you back next time. Thank you.